I hope someone craps in your pants while you're not looking and you have a boxer full of shit. Okay, we're back on GTA and... I miss you already! Clearly. What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, Floyd? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? Ah, Floyd! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go... What is this cutscene, bro? You made me swear. Crap, <gasps> Floyd. Crap. <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> He's a woman. Right He's trans. Oh, who's Bob? I He's a toy. You to go now. You and your weird friends. Whoa, hey. My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is. I'm that is a bad idea, woman. And that's an even worse idea. You people are not very fucking nice. Ooh. Oh. Oh, hey there, Trevor. Let's go have the time of our lives. You know it's bad when even Trevor wants to get out. Oh, my God. Just the place. Oh, great. The strip club. Full of naked women where I love to show my straightness. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah. Syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but... That guy's got red syrup all over him, too. Oh, hello. That's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. <laughs> Lucky man. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. Thank you. Thank you. Amigo, prepare to meet your new partner. That was three people that Trevor killed by himself. Not even me controlling him. I'm starting to think Trevor is a little bit cuckoo. Okay, we are going to do another mission with Michael and Trevor. Now, I want to be clear. I was not staring at anyone's ass during that cutscene. I might have looked at one or two penises. But I definitely was not staring at any fine lady's ass. Understood? That's what I thought. Hello. I oh, I don't give a shit about you, Ricky. You give me a very shit child molester vibe. Don't like it. We're here. Isn't that usually a bouncer here? Actually, I wouldn't know. 
Because I've never been here before. Apart from with Trevor. That is all. I asked for your number, but they took my phone. I don't think you want my number. Hey. Hey, Trev. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this this good business showing people a good time. B bust, Brad. Guaranteed bust Trevor becomes a prostitute. 100%. If he wasn't a bank robber, he'd be a prostitute. No Leon, the old manager. Leon, I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we, uh, robbed. And lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? A 12 foot long penis. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. The piece so, de resistance. Do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Poor Leon. That where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alpha Street. We can get a view of the back from there. So we try and look at the back entrance. I see you. Much like I didn't see that woman's uh, back end as well. I mean, Trevor, how are you doing? More like, what are you doing? Or who? Piss off. I'm very calm, you big fat wanker. Why don't you calm down? In it, God's sake, hurry up, man. Fly to Marietta Heights. Got it. Come in, Michael. We have a visual on the car. They just rammed a fucking car off the road. If they go, if they go straight, we've got it. But they don't because they're fucking idiots. Whoa. Okay, pull back. You know what? That's how children feel around you. Sweet, that's done then. Unless you want to actually carry on. Fit. Fuck. Onion 86. What about garlic 69? I've been around the fucking building. Fucking idiot, Trevor. How have I almost crashed the whole thing? There's your big ass hole. Hover above it while I record what we need. Hover above so I can shoot down into it. I am you fucking crippled twat. That's a nice car. That's no good. It's load bearing. Looks good. Looks good. There we go. Oh my god. Cool. You know what? I'm changing to Michael. Trevor can deal with that. Okay. I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, like the video and all that shit. 
and I shall see you guys in a bit. Take care and peace.